In the last couple of weeks, and especially in the last couple of videos, I've been telling you guys that Luton really need to sign a centre-back. This is because at this moment in time, Luton only have six players that can actually play as a centre-back. However, three of them are currently out injured, and if we play with three centre-backs every week, which we currently do, we're going to need to sign more centre-backs because if the current three that are fit get injured or suspended, we're going to have a problem. And in the last couple of seasons, we've had problems in this particular area. And I want to make sure that Luton, this time round, we get a little bit of depth within that centre-back position. Because in the Premier League, we're going to get hurt a lot more. In the Championship, we did get hurt in spells, but we, were mani we managed to recover. We managed to get over it, and then the players got back fit and ready to go. In the Premier League, it's different. We're going to get punished, and we get punished heavily. And we can't afford that especially in a season where we are going to be desperate for points. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys about a particular player that Luton are heavily linked with, and that is Jaffet Tanganga. I've struggled to say his name, and I'm just going to try and just call him Tanganga throughout the whole video, or Tottenham Defender. But anyway, who is he? He is a 24-year-old right-sided centre-back and right-back um, who plays for Tottenham. Now, last season, he didn't really play much for Tottenham, and this is why he's been maybe put on the loan list, and he's allowed to go out to another club and get some first-team football. Now, he broke through the Tottenham team under the Jose Mourinho side. That's how I remember him. I remember him watching him on the Amazon documentary, and he actually was a really good player, and that's how he broke through the side, and he put in some really good performances in. He's a very energetic, a very aggressive um, defender, which I really like, a very progressive one as well and he does fit our style of play extremely well now when he played for Tottenham he did play as a right wing back but we're kind of covered as a you know in within the team with right wing backs you know we've got Kapore we've got Alfie Doggerty who can also play there so right wing back is not a position which we kind of need to fit in but we can use someone who can play as a right sided centre back especially someone who's very like energetic very powerful very aggressive and I think it will help us as well because I think as you know the defense we're not exactly quick you know tom locker he isn't the you know the fastest mans anderson isn't the fastest reese burke isn't really the fastest you know amari bell you know he's got a bit of pace about him but you know we're not the quickest defenders you know especially in the premier league is what i'm trying to say bringing in someone like tanganga in you know we're gonna have a lot more energy and a lot more pace you know in our back line which is extremely good because with kapore as our right wing back who pushes on forward because he's very aggressive, very attacking, and we use him to create opportunities. When you've got maybe Tanganga alongside him as that right-sided centre-half, you know, you can cause a lot of problems down that right-hand side. And also, both of them now have the pace and energy to, if we do lose the ball and the team tries to break down our right-hand side, they can recover quite well. I really like this signing if this does happen. It will be a loan deal. Now, Luton, we have to be careful because you're only allowed, I think, two Premier League loan deals. And we've already used one on Kapore. So we can only make another one. So we, we have to be extremely smart about this. Now, obviously, I've already mentioned the style of play, how Tanganga fits within our style. You know, he's young as well. He's 24 years old. He still has a point to prove, you know, and he's got plenty of potential. You know, that just fits the Luton model. It fits our recruitment model. It's how we look at players. You know, we always look at a player and go, does this lad have a point to prove? And if, it, and if it's a tick, we end up normally signing him. Now, Tanganga at the moment in time has competition. Inter Milan are after him. And I know what you're thinking, Lewis, we are not going to be able to compete with Inter Milan. And I would say, yes, you are 100% right. We're not going to be able to compete with Inter Milan. But Inter Milan are after a Bayern Munich defender in Pavard for 30 million and I think that's going into advanced talks at this moment in time so it does look likely that we are the front runners in bringing Tanganga to the club and that makes me really happy and it does excite me very well that centre back position is something which we really do need to recruit in I have been worried since the start of the season because I felt we needed to recruit more Obviously, we did bring in Mans Anderson in as one of the centre backs, but we need another one. You know, Mans Anderson, no disrespect to him, you know, Barnsley to Premier League, League One to Premier League, you know, it's a massive jump. 
Although, when we announced the signing of Mans Anderson, I did say he was a championship player playing in League One. There's still a jump there, championship to Premier League. The same with Tom Lockyer, the same with Amari Bell as well. You know, we do not have a Premier League defender, you know, amongst our ranks. So that's why having someone like Tanganga, who's got some Premier League experience, it may not be, you know, 200, 300 games, but he's got some Premier League experience, would be quite helpful within our setup. And I just really like the idea of this. When you watch him play as well, he's very aggressive in his tackling, you know, progressive, as I've already mentioned as well. It just fits us. It literally, if someone said to me, right, you need to find a perfect sign in. You know, Tanganga would be one of the top threes. I, I, it really would do because of how well he fits our system. And I really think Rob Edwards would love working with him. And I think we could get the best out of him as well, like we do with all of our players. But yeah, a loan deal to the end of the season would be an absolutely amazing bit of business. I don't see him getting into that Tottenham team at the moment, especially under the new boss. So yeah, I am really excited on what could potentially happen in the next couple of weeks before that transfer window ends. But if we do not sign Tanganga, then we need to bring in and we need a centre half in. We need seven centre backs at the club, you know, because Reese Burke has proven over the last two years, well, since he signed for Luton, he just is too injury prone. Since Dan Potts has been with us since League Two, He's been very injury prone as well. And Gabe Osho, you know, he's got an injury. You know, I don't know how long he's going to be back for. And he's had a few injuries. And also, don't forget as well, Tom Lockyer had a very serious incident, you know, at Wembley last year. You know, it, it, we're already pushing him to the limit by, you know, getting him to perform even higher and even better in playing Premier League football. You know, we don't want to push him and overwork him. And God forbid anything like that happen ever again to him. You know, we need to put that stress away as well. So, you know, I, I don't think there's anything wrong about having seven centre-backs at the club, especially when you play with three centre-backs, you know, every single week. You know, I don't see any issue with that. So, yeah, hopefully we bring in Tanganga from Tottenham on loan. And if not, hopefully we do bring in another centre-half. But those are my thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section of the video. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy listening to my thoughts. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Don't forget to follow me across all my social media and I'll see you all in the next video.